Hey guys, another challenge in medium at this time. So coder byte uh, missing digit. Uh, so this challenge will determine what variables is in the mathematical uh, equation. So yeah, let's start. Missing digit. We have the function missing digit uh, take string parameter, uh, which will be simple mathematical formula, which will three single operator plus minus multiply or divide. Okay, uh, with three numbers uh, and an equal sign, and return digits that uh, complete the uh, equation uh, in one uh, of numbers. Is equation there will be an X characters and you your program should determine what digital is missing for example if string 3x plus 12 uh, equal 46 then the program sh uh, output uh, 4 the, the characters can appear in any of three numbers and all three numbers will be greater than or equal to zero, or less than equal or, or equal to tens or million. Okay, so for example, we have four minus two x, oh wow. We have one multiply, oh, no, it's not multiply x, sorry. 1x0 multiply 12, we have uh, this one, okay, and output, that is interesting, so looks like it's kind of, we need to parse it through significantly, through the all possible options, and really understand how we'll kind of mathematically uh, do this, and again handle the different cases between divide, plus, minus, and uh, multiplication, so yeah, let's see what the implementation we can produce here. Okay, so implementation uh, here. So we'll initiate our first variable x. So we'll store our value of midget, uh, the missing digit. So again, we'll start with zero. The idea it wouldn't be any random, just one digit from zero to nine. Uh, uh, after that, we'll go replace uh, x character uh, in our, uh, which is will be zero. So again, it will be temporary replacement to new string. So we'll replace, let's say I forgot this one, so we'll replace this with zero. Uh, so after that, we will go with splitting uh, the uh, modifier, uh, modified string into array uh, containing two uh, uh, sides of equation. Uh, so again, we got our temp, not original, but temp. We divided our, let's say, 2.3, uh, sorry, uh, 4 minus 2 again. And after that, we will get as uh, the rest. Uh, in this case, again, we already uh, replace it with two of them. After that, we will go with the loop. And here's the loop. It's I would say it most probably would be better to have, let's say, four loop uh, from zero to nine. But in this case, again, kind of with assumptions that we should get our the right answer while we're using while uh, uh, loop here. Keep looping until uh, left side equation is equal uh, uh, to the right side. And again, here the, the biggest kind of um, it's a evolve uh, function from JavaScript. Yeah, so evolve is built-in function again. So it will convert behind the scene and will go with again uh, four minus two, it will basically treat it as is. Again, in real world or kind of production environments, that most probably you will never use it because it's again heavily reliant on implementation that you don't have out there. And again, if let's say impression of string is incorrect, again, it just will throw good exception out there. So, but again, in sake of kind of speed and uh, versatility here, so we have uh, in our case. So, what we're doing, so we will got our, so you remember, first part of our array that we split it, zero and one, and seeing if it's uh, 
uh, so if it's not the same, if it's the same, let's say zero, we will be golden kind of going back and saying, hey, return is x is zero. Uh, but you know, if it's not, again, it will go with, again, it's tried already uh, uh, zero, so it didn't work out. So it will, we will go with incremental by one. So, uh, and after that, we will go with replacement uh, uh, character input with new x. So as you can see, it might be just uh, our original string. We will replace uh, with new x again. In this case, it first run it will be one, and we will kind of get updated temp value. So we we'll kind of instead of issue new uh, variable, we are representing the same uh, out there. And again, uh, we will split uh, updated strings into array again. So kind of repeating this over and over and looping again with ideas that it should kick in. If not, again, the issue right away, I would see that, uh, let's say, if you would be cranking this as a part of, let's say, your interview discussion with kind of a human uh, alive out there, again, if for whatever reason it will not kick in, it most probably will be kind of indefinitely will be incrementing even outside of kind of nine. So again, there is no additional logic. Maybe just put like, hey, if it's nine, kind of break, or as I mentioned earlier, uh, do uh, for, for loop instead. So yeah, so in this case, and again, we'll return to the string. So yeah, let's run our test cases. Correct, correct. So we got all correct, and let's go with submission. We'll accelerate here. All right, so we got it right. So again, we got uh, all the use cases points. And again, from timely manner, uh, uh, it's also okay in our case. So again, well-documented code here. So it's usually, again, you can, you can find the code, uh, source code in the comments below. Please let me know if you would like to see any other uh, challenges uh, inside of, I would say, Coderbyte and any languages out there. And let me know what about light or dark theme uh, on the editor or what is yours. Thank you for watching and see you next one. Bye, guys.